Let's work today with exploring the edges of the breath. So just as you become, as you sit here and breathe, become much more aware of like the top 10% of the inhale. Spending more time in that territory. And then become aware of the end of the exhale. Like the last 10% of your exhale and spend more time in that territory too. So work with that as a focus. Noticing what you feel at the top of the inhale. And noticing what you feel right at the end of the exhale. All the subtle sensations. Allowing a little more time for the top of the inhale. And a little more time for the end of the exhale. Sometimes it's quite unfamiliar territory. Noticing what parts of the body draw themselves to your attention. Where do you really notice kind of tightness or sensation at the top of the inhale or at the end of the exhale? Probably different places. What parts of you do, do you become more aware of? Let's stick with this intent through the whole class so that whatever pose you're in, or even if you're in between poses, keep coming back to noticing what does the top of my inhale feel like? And what does the end of my exhale feel like? Let's come into a side bend. Take your right leg out to the side and have the left foot in front of the groin. If it feels helpful to support the knee, you could take a cushion underneath the leg and maybe bring the foot a bit further forwards. If that would feel better to your knee. Okay, then take your left hand down onto the floor, just out from the hip. Inhale, reach your right arm up into a side bend. Exhale, let your left shoulder relax down. Inhale, feeling the breath expand and noticing what happens at the top of the inhale here. On the exhale, tracking what happens at the bottom of the exhale. Allowing a little more time than you usually do for the end of the exhale.
into neck release, bring your right arm out to the side. So the hand is a bit lower than the shoulder, but hands not on the floor. Inhale, filling up with breath, noticing sensations at the top of the inhale. Exhale, relax left ear towards left shoulder. Allowing the exhale to go on longer than usual. And noticing what you feel there. Tracking also, what do you feel around the neck as you stay present through the inhale and stay present through the exhale? And then take your hand off the floor and use your hand to lift the head up. Let's do the other side. Let's have the right leg straight, left leg bent. Um, again, if it felt helpful to support the knee, putting a cushion underneath the knee so that it's comfortable. So this time the right hand is out to the side. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, leaning into a side bend. Inhaling fully and spending a little bit more time focusing and feeling the top of the inhale. Then allowing plenty of time for the exhale. And noticing any feeling at the end of the exhale. Come into neck release, bring the arm that's up in the air out to the side. Finding an angle that feels good for helping the, the neck to relax. Inhale, filling up with breath. Noticing at the top of the inhale, what you feel around the neck area. Then on your exhale, let the head relax even more to the side. Softening in the neck. And just tracking what you feel right at the end of the exhale. Sometimes when we breathe, we overuse the muscles around the neck and around the, the upper part of the chest. Feel for those muscles relaxing, but you still be able to breathe deeply. Inhale, bring the hand off the floor, hold on to your head. Exhale and straighten up. I want to do some shoulder shrugs now. So you could do this in Baddha Konasana, putting support underneath the knees if that felt good, uh, or if it would feel better to sit cross-legged, you could do that. Or if you need to sit a different way or in a chair, that's totally fine as well, because what we're focusing on next is all gonna be around the shoulders. Start with the arms super relaxed. Take a big breath in to the upper back. Feel the top of the inhale. Hold the breath, slide the shoulders up and back. Squeeze the top of the shoulder blades together, then exhale and slide them down. Inhale into the upper back. Squeeze the middle parts of your shoulder blades together. Now I want you to try to keep your arms as relaxed as you can. Exhale, slide the shoulder blades down. Inhale, 
Inhale, have the arms relaxed. Now squeeze the lower parts of the shoulder blades together. Sometimes it helps to kind of squeeze the elbows in here, but I'm, I'm just doing that to, to get the feeling of the lower part of the shoulder blades. And then I could almost relax them. Get that, just be squeezing with the muscles around the shoulder blades. Exhale, slide down. Let's, let's, let's do that a couple more rounds. Inhale into the upper back. Shoulders slide up, shoulders slide back. Squeeze tops of shoulder blades together. Exhale, slide down. Noticing the end of the exhale and the end of the inhale. Deep inhale, sending the breath up to the shoulder area. Squeeze the middle of the shoulder blades together. Keep the arms relaxed. Exhale, slide them down. Inhale into upper back. Now squeeze the bottom of the shoulder blades together. Use the elbows if that helps, but then relax them. Exhale, slide down. Then we'll come into a forward bend. Let's do a wide-legged forward bend. Take your legs out to the side and have the knees a little bit bent. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, lean forwards and bring the hands down to the floor, just wherever they come to. Inhale, expanding the breath into the back. Exhale, relaxing the head forwards. Relaxing the neck and relaxing the jaw. Exploring this interesting territory at the end of the inhale and the interesting territory at the end of the exhale. They can be quite different places. If it good, feels good to straighten the legs here for the last couple of breaths, feel free to straighten the legs. If it would feel better to keep the legs bent, keep the legs bent. Inhale, walk your hands towards your hips and sit up. Exhale, bring the legs back together and then give the legs and the arms and your hips a shake. All right, so lie on your back with the cushion or the forest yoga roll or the block between your thighs and set your feet for, up for bridge. So have the feet below the, below the knees and parallel and about hip distance apart. Rest the hands on the floor with the palms facing up. We'll just be doing some half bridge lifts here. So it's not about lifting the hips super high. It's more about turning on the inner thighs and the muscles at the base of the buttocks. Start with a breath in, sending the breath to the hips and feeling the edge of that inhale. Then on the exhale, squeeze your thighs onto the cushion. Press your feet to the floor, let the hips lift up an inch or two. Stay with that exhale all the way through, right till the end of the exhale. On the inhale, let the hips relax down to the floor. But stay aware of the end of the inhale. 
On the exhale, you're squeezing the cushion, pressing the feet into the floor, letting the hips lift up an inch or two. Staying with this right till the end of the exhale. Keep going with this pattern. Continuing to hang out at the edges of your breath. Noticing sensation there. And allowing a little more time for the top of the inhale and the end of the exhale. Do two more of these half bridge lifts. And after that, take a couple of resting breaths, staying super aware of the, of the edges of the breath. And how that leads you into breathing more fully. Both in the sense of the, of the exhale being more, uh, both in the sense of the inhale being more full, but also in the sense of the exhale being more complete like emptying out more air on your exhale. Remove the cushion. Let's do some, some hip stretches now. Bring your left knee in towards the chest and straighten out your right leg on the floor with the right foot flex. Inhale, pull the knee a little closer towards the chest. Exhale, let the knee come away from the chest. Inhale, knee comes towards the chest. Exhale, knee moves away from the chest. Do two more like that, just tracking the edges. Noticing what feelings and sensations are hiding out at the edges of your breath. Next pose we'll do is straightening the leg, left leg up in the air. Let's just start by bending the right leg and having the foot on the floor. And then if you take the left leg up in the air and hold onto the leg. If it feels okay here, straighten out your right leg on the floor. If that feels stressful to the back at all, or just, just like your legs are too tight, then best to work this with the right leg bent. Take a long inhale, breathe all the way up to your left foot. Feel it or imagine it. Exhale, relax both your shoulders. Staying present with the exhale right to the end of the exhale. Bend your left knee. Next pose is back release pose. 
Start with both, both, both. Start with the knees bent and both feet on the floor. Inhale, bring the left knee towards the chest again. Exhale, hook the left ankle over the right thigh. Now, if you can, lift the right leg off of, up off the floor and then thread the left hand in between the thighs and hold on to the right thigh. Continuing to notice the top of the inhale and the end of the exhale. And how you'll get a slightly different experience in each pose. Or even breath by breath in the same pose. Maybe things shift and change. Final pose before we switch sides is half happy baby. With this one, reach up with your left hand for the inside of your left foot. Or if you can't catch hold of the foot, you could catch hold of your leg or of your, your tracksuit or leggings. And then the left knee is bent and almost headed towards the left armpit. She is left, left. Left ankle is over the left. If you're having a flexible day, you might be able to straighten out the right leg on the floor. If that doesn't feel good, keep the right leg bent. Noticing the edges here. Then release the left foot, let the, let the foot come to the floor. And just do a simple twist, taking the knees from side to side. And notice if one hip feels different to the other. You've just done all those stretches on the left hand side, but not the right hand side. Observing if there's a difference. Okay, now let's do the other side. So start by bringing the right knee towards chest, left leg straight on the floor. Left foot can be flexed. Inhale, pull the right knee in. Exhale, let the right knee move away from the chest. Noticing the edges of the breath. Noticing the interaction between the breath and this simple movement. Then we'll take the right leg straight up in the air. Bend the left knee if you need to. And then the right leg goes up in the air, holding on to the leg. If you want to, and it feels fine in the back, have the left leg straight on the floor. Reaching up towards the ceiling with your right foot.
then bend your right knee and bring both feet on the floor with the knees bent. Next one is back release pose. Inhale, bring the right knee towards the chest and rest the outside edge of the right ankle on the left thigh. Exhale, lift the left foot off the floor and hold on with both hands around the left thigh. Inhale deeply and notice what edges you feel around the hips or the lower back. Exhale, continuing to track what you feel at the edges of things. What subtle sensations arise at the edges? Release the legs and we'll do half happy baby. Right foot reaches up, right hand, right hand reaches up for the right foot, holding onto the inside edge of the foot or holding onto the leg. Right knee is bent and headed in the direction of your right armpit. Right ankles is over the right knee. Working this either with the left leg bent or left leg straight. Staying present to your edges. allowing more space to observe and to feel at the edges. Then let go of the leg, bring that foot down to the floor. And we'll come back to some abdominals. Take your roll or cushion or fat block and have that between the inner thighs. We'll be working with abs with a roll, but I want to get some of the bits of the butt muscle switched on first. So take your hands onto your sitting bones. See if you can feel with your fingertips where your sitting bones are. It's kind of hard from this angle. But feel around where you feel the sitting bones are kind of like top of the thighs, base of the buttocks in the middle. All right, inhale and send the breath down to that area. On the exhale, squeeze the cushion. And I want you to particularly feel for squeezing the sitting bones towards each other. So the space between the sitting bones is narrowing. Inhale, relax that. Exhale, squeeze the cushion and squeeze the sitting bones towards each other. So you feel or, or imagine the sitting bones moving closer together. Do a couple more like that. Letting the inhale be quite relaxed. And then on the exhale, finding that, that squeezing together of the sitting bones. Being aware of the edges of things. Okay, release the hands now and we'll do abs with a roll. Let's start with the feet on the floor and the hands will be behind the head. 
Inhale, bring the elbows closer together. Hold the breath, squeeze your thighs onto the roll and then press the lower back down. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up off the floor. Point the elbows to the ceiling, squeeze the roll and squeeze the sitting bones together. Inhale, head and shoulders down. Take it a big inhale so you feel the edges. Then hold the breath, squeeze the cushion. Exhale, head and shoulders up. Squeeze the cushion again. Squeeze the sitting bones, gather the belly in. Inhale, head and shoulders down slowly. Making the most of the inhale. Hold the breath, squeeze the cushion. Exhale, head and shoulders up. Squeeze the cushion again. Squeeze the sitting bones. Gather the belly in. Inhale, head and shoulders down to the floor. Take the feet up off the floor now so that the, the knees are bent to a right angle. Still got the cushion bit between the legs. Exhale, everything out. <sighs> Massive breathing in. Taking your breath right to its edges. Hold the breath, squeeze the cushion. Exhale, lift head and shoulders up. Squeeze the cushion again. Squeeze your sitting bones together. Gather the belly in. Inhale, head and shoulders down. Big inhale. Hold the breath, squeeze onto the cushion. Exhale, lift head and shoulders up. Squeeze the cushion again. Squeeze sitting bones. Gather the belly in. Inhale, head and shoulders down. Hold the breath. Squeeze the cushion. Exhale, head and shoulders up. Point the elbows towards the ceiling. Squeeze the cushion. Squeeze the sitting bones. Gather the belly in. Inhale, head and shoulders down to the floor. We're going to do three more of these. If you want to, you could stay here or you could take the feet back to the floor. Or if you want to do a more challenging variation, you could take the legs straight up in the air. So one of those three positions, either, either the two previous ones or legs up in the air. Start with a breath in and bring the elbows closer together. Hold the breath, squeeze onto the cushion. Exhale, lift the shoulders and head off the floor. Squeeze the cushion again, squeeze sitting bones, pull belly down. Big breath in as the head and shoulders come down. Feel the edges of that inhale. Hold the breath, squeeze the cushion. Exhale, lift head and shoulders. Squeeze cushion again, squeeze sitting bones, pull belly down. Inhale, head and shoulders down to the floor. Hold the breath, squeeze onto the cushion. Exhale, lift head and shoulders up. Squeeze cushion again, squeeze sitting bones, gather the belly in. Inhale, head and shoulders come down. Exhale, bend the legs, bring the feet down to the floor and rest the hands on the belly. Take some restful deep breaths. Staying with this exploration of your edges. Notice hang how that terrain shifts pose to pose, moment to moment, breath to breath. Remove the cushion and we'll do a twist with both knees bent. So bring both knees in towards the chest and then take both knees over to the left-hand side. 
Now stretch your right arm out past your ear and rest the hand on the floor. And take your left hand onto the side of your ribs. If your head and neck feels uncomfortable here, for some people these work best with a cushion underneath the head. Roll your right shoulder back a little so you feel like you're in a twist. Close your eyes and continue this exploration of feeling the edges of the breath. top of the inhale and the end of the exhale. And sometimes feeling the tension that hides in those places. Just feeling it and breathing with it is really helpful in getting that tension, that unconscious holding to dissolve. Just by being present to the breath. and allowing time for that dissolving. If we're constantly on the move and constantly busy and constantly doing, there isn't the space to let go. Let's switch to the other side. Bring your arms more to the side into goalpost position. Inhale, bring the right knee up and the left knee up. Exhale, take both legs over to the right hand side. Inhale and reach the left arm past, up past the head. And have the right hand on the side of the ribs. Let the left shoulder roll back a little here. Tracking each breath in and each breath out. To come out of this, bring the arms out either side into goalpost. Inhale, bring the left, arm, left knee back up. Exhale, roll the right knee back up. And then roll all the way over onto your left hand side and sit up. I'm going to show you another uh, abdominal now, uh, which is um, this was called scissors straddle. So something like a bolster works really well for this. Um, but you could also use a couple of cushions or if you've got like kind of a couple of those flat blocks that would work as well. If you feel like I know this one already, feel free to come straight into it and just pick up the pattern and, and do some rounds on your own. If you're not sure, I will show you a, a round or two first. The hips are lifted up on the prop. Legs are starting straight in the air. 
On the first exhale, I'm taking my left leg away from the chest and bringing my right knee towards the chest. Inhale, legs come back up. Exhale, right leg moves away. Left leg moves towards the chest. And you can, you can, the one that's coming towards the chest, you could bend it a little bit. Inhale, legs come back up. Then exhale and take both legs out to the side into straddle. I've got a wall in the way, so I can't do this one here. All right, inhale, legs come back up. So that's the kind of three things. It's like one going forwards and back, other going forwards and back, and then out into straddle. So set yourself up on your, on your prop, whether it's cushions or a bolster or blocks. You want to feel like the hips are supported. It's not so much the lower back, it's the, the bones of the hips that are elevated on this, on this support. Arms can just be on the floor and then legs go straight up in the air. Inhale and spread the toes out. Push the balls of the feet up towards the ceiling. Exhale, move the left leg away from the left shoulder and move the right leg towards the right shoulder, maybe bending the right knee a little bit. Don't get too far to begin with. Inhale, slowly bring the legs back to the center, like doing that as slowly as you can. Exhale, send the right leg away from right shoulder, left leg towards left shoulder. Don't go too far with the right leg to begin with. Do this really slowly. Inhale, legs come straight up. Now take the legs straight out into straddle. So the legs are going to the sides. On the exhale here, curl your pubic bone towards your belly button. Keep stretching the feet away. Inhale, legs come back to the middle. Exhale, this time let's take the right leg away from the right shoulder, left leg towards left shoulder. Inhale to straight. Exhale, scissors the other way. Inhale up to straight. And then take the legs into straddle. Then exhale, curl the pubic bone towards the belly button. Stretching the legs, feet out to the side in straddle. Inhale, legs back to the middle. Exhale, left, full, left, left moves away, right moves towards the chest. Scissors. Inhale, legs upright. Exhale, scissors the other way. Inhale, upright and into straddle. Exhale, pubic bone to belly button. Inhale to the middle. Do that two more times in your own time. Continue to connect to the edges of the breath. Spending a little bit more time in that territory at the end of the inhale and the end of the exhale. When you finish the second round, then bend the knees and bring the feet to the floor. Let's rest here with the hips slightly elevated. Still tuning in to the top of the inhale. 
and the end of the exhale. Noticing how this will be a little different with the hips in the air compared to the hips on the floor. Allowing the belly to soften here. Allowing yourself to release tension from the belly. Placing the hands on the belly if that feels helpful. Next, we'll do oblique toner over a bolster or a block. Set yourself up to do this if you're not already. Have the hips supported by your prop and something like a fat block or a cushion in between the thighs. Let's do a couple of rounds without the arms. Inhale, squeeze the cushion and stretch the toes out. You could be doing this with the legs straight or legs bent. Exhale. Rotate the legs to the left, just going a little way. So you feel something happening around the belly. It's not about going into a full on twist. Inhale, legs back to the middle. Exhale, slightly squeeze the cushion, take the legs to the right. Noticing the end of the exhale and the belly. Inhale, legs to the middle. Let's do this with the arms as well. Exhale, legs go left, but arms go right. Feel the end of the exhale. Inhale, legs and arms to the middle. Make the exhale big so you really get the chance to hang out in that top of exhale space. Exhale, legs go right, arms go left. Staying with us right to the end of the exhale. Inhale, legs come back, arms come back. Making time for the top of the inhale. Great, keep going, do two more on either side. Once you finish those two rounds, then bend your legs, bring the feet to the floor. Remove all of the cushions and bolsters, just slide them to the side and bring the hips down to the floor. Rest the hands on the belly. Breathing deeply so that you can explore the edges. This is a great way to tune into some of the stuff that's just below the surface. Some of the tension and holding that we carry around with us, but we're not aware of. Mm -hmm. 
and roll onto one side and come onto your hands and knees. Let's work with Turbo Dog next. So from the hands and knees, you take the hands a little further forwards. Okay, inhale, bend the elbows halfway to the floor, but the elbows aren't on the floor with this. Exhale, relax the head forwards. Bring the weight forward into the hands just a little more. Continue to track, what do I feel when I breathe in fully? What do I feel when I breathe out? And allow a little more time for the exhale. If you want to take this a stage further and also lift up the knees into Turbo Dog, feel free to do that. If it feels better to keep working with the knees on the floor, that's good too. Okay, then come out of that and come up into a kneeling position to do some bird wing. If the knees feel sensitive today and this, this kneeling position doesn't feel good, then maybe just sit on, sit on the mat or, or sit in a chair would be fine too. Uh, if your knees feel totally fine today and you want to also have a foot stretch, tuck the toes under and take the hips back onto the heels. But if that doesn't feel okay in the toes or the knees, then, then either kneel up or, or come into a different seated position. Now set up the arms for bird wing. Inhale and nestle the elbows in next to the ribs, next to the waist. Exhale, squeeze the elbows in next to the waist and take the hands out to the side. Squeezing in the upper arms and also squeezing the elbows. Inhale, hands come closer together. Exhale, hands come out to the side. Squeeze the elbows in, squeeze the upper arms in. Inhale, hands come closer. Exhale, hands out to the side. Squeeze the elbows in, squeeze the upper arms in. Inhale, hands come closer. Exhale, uh, hands come out. Squeeze the elbows in, squeeze the upper arms in. Notice the territory at the end of the exhale. Do three more. and then release the arms. Next, we'll come into a downward facing dog, but just with some leg movement. So bring the hands down to the floor. Inhale and set up the hands, tuck the toes under. Exhale, lift the knees up and come into downward dog. Inhale, ease your left heel towards the floor and bend the right knee just a little. Exhale, straighten both legs. Inhale, ease the right heel towards the floor, bending the left knee just a little. Exhale, straighten both legs. Inhale, ease the left heel towards the floor, bend the right knee. Noticing the edges of what is happening here. Exhaling, straightening. 
Inhale, ease the right heel towards the floor, bending the left knee. Exhale and straighten. Do that one more time on each side. And then walk your feet towards the hands. Come into a forward bend. With both knees bent, feet parallel, arms hanging down. Feeling the edges here. Inhale, pull the belly in and uncurl up to standing. Exhale and sigh. <sighs> Let's do it a couple more times, just inhaling really fully. Exhaling and sighing. <sighs> and once more. Chest open up on the wall. This is a version of Warrior One where you need to find a wall or a door that you can stand next to. Um, so I'm going to currently do this with the wall on my left hand side. I'm about a foot away from it and I'm taking my left foot forward, right foot back into Warrior One position. And then the left hand is going on the wall behind, kind of behind me. Maybe the side, same height as the shoulder, maybe a little bit lower. Maybe the arm's straight, maybe the elbow's bent. Depends on your shoulder, really. Doing this in a way that's not stressful to the shoulder. Then place your right hand on the left-hand side of your chest and breathe into the left-hand side of your chest. Noticing what you feel at the edges here. Then bring the hand off the wall and turn around. So the wall is on your right. And then this time, you'll take the right foot forward and left foot back. Inhale, bend the right knee. Exhale, take the right hand on the wall behind you. Left hand can go onto your right chest. Adjusting the position of this right hand any way you need to, so that the shoulder doesn't feel stressed. You could also come further away from the wall too. Then send your breath up to the right hand side of your chest and your right shoulder, observing the edges. And then bring the hand off the wall and step the legs back together and then give everything a shake. Next, we'll do a wide-legged forward bend with some neck traction. I'll show you a couple of options for the head here. So the feet are parallel here, but just to 
given a, an extra stretch to the neck, you could either clasp the hands around the back of the head like this, or if you've got um, hair, this doesn't work when people have got like a crew cut or something, but if, if it feels nice to do so, you can catch hold of two handfuls of hair on the top of your head and just let the weight of your arms lightly pull on the hair and lightly pull on the head. If that does not feel good to your scalp or to your um, hair ends, then the hands behind the head option is good too. So coming into this forward bend now, legs are about three or four feet apart with the feet parallel. Take a massive inhale and notice the top of the inhale. And then with your long exhale, stay with it longer than usual. Noticing the territory right at the end of the exhale. Then release your hands, bring them to your waist. Inhale and come up. Exhale and heel toe your feet back to the center. Next, we'll do pyramid. Step your left foot forwards and your right foot back. Feet are kind of two or three feet apart. And then take your left hip back and the right hip forwards. Inhale and actively press the feet down. Exhale, hinge forwards from the hips. Take your hands onto the thigh or onto the shin or maybe onto the floor. If your knees are locked, try bending them very slightly. Inhale, expanding the breath into the back and side ribs. Feeling the edges of the breath there. Exhale, relax the jaw and relax the back of the tongue. Inhale, walk the hands up the leg to come up. Exhale, change the legs around. Right leg forward, left leg back for pyramid. Inhale, take the hands on the hip. Roll the right hip back and the left hip forwards. And both legs are straight, but bend the knees very slightly if you're a knee locker. Exhale, fold forwards, bringing hands onto the thigh or the shin or onto the floor. Staying with the edges of your breath. Noticing which has been most interesting, the top of the inhale or the end of the exhale.
Inhale, walk the hands up the leg, lift up. Exhale, step the legs back together. Give everything a big shake, like shake the arms and the legs and the hips all at the same time and everything in between. Now make your way down onto your mat to set yourself up for relaxation. So whether you prefer to do Shavasana lying on your back or lying on your side, or even whether you prefer to be in this restful phase of class set upright, choose whatever will work best for you so that this time of stillness and this time of rest works best for you to allow your nervous system the space to calm down. I quite like to put something underneath my knees and then something underneath my head. And once you're in your resting position, stay with active breathing for a minute or two. Consciously taking your breath right up to the top of your inhale, hanging out there for a moment. And then following your breath right down to the end of the exhale. allowing more time for that than usual, hanging out for a moment right at the base of the exhale before the breath continues to flow. Observing what patterns of physical sensation you notice. And then let all effort in the breath just melt away. Letting go of any effort to control the breath. Allowing your natural breath to simply flow and move through you. In its own perfection.
Become aware of your breath. Of how your natural breath has edges. There's a rhythm to the ebb and flow of your breath. But shifts and changes, but is deeply part of you. And then become aware of your fingers and toes. And explore moving your fingers and toes. And then bring your knees in towards your chest. Hold on to the knees and rock from side to side. Massaging your lower back on the floor. And then roll all the way onto one side. Just lie on one side for a moment. Press up and come to an upright position again. Thank you for joining in with this session today and for watching through all the way to the end. Do let me know in the comments below how you found the session and whether you enjoyed connecting to the top of the inhale or the end of the exhale more. You can also leave a, a thumbs up if you liked the video. This really helps uh, because it helps to tell YouTube that this is good yoga and it should show it to other people who want to do yoga too. If you'd like to hear more from me, there are a few more classes on my YouTube channel. Or if you go to my website, which is inspiratrix.co.uk, then there are loads of details on all my live virtual classes, my in-person retreats, my yoga teacher trainings, my private lessons. I also have a subscription service where each month you can access up to 25 live classes, plus a massive virtual yoga vault full of pre-recorded sessions, um, including some intermediate classes as well. Thank you for joining me today. Happy practicing.